Have you ever wondered what would happen if we land on Venus? Our cosmic neighbor, Venus, sits approximately 25 million miles away from our home planet Earth. That's over 100 times the distance to our moon. A spacecraft speeding at a brisk 78,000 miles per hour would take about 15 days to complete the journey. But it's not as simple as hopping on a cosmic bus and taking a two-week holiday. Space, my dear friends, is not a friendly place. Outside the protective bubble of our planet's atmosphere, threats abound. Cosmic radiation, invisible and insidious, poses a constant hazard. It's not something we worry about on Earth, but in the void of space, it's a different story. This radiation can damage our spacecraft and even harm the astronauts on board, making the journey to Venus a perilous one. Then there's the issue of space debris. Tiny fragments of rock, remnants from the formation of our solar system, hurtle through space at incredible speeds. Even a small pebble can cause significant damage if it collides with our spacecraft. It's like navigating a ship through a storm. But instead of rain and waves, we're dealing with rocks and radiation. And let's not forget about the most basic human needs. The journey to Venus isn't a short one, and our astronauts will need food, water and air for the trip. These life-sustaining supplies add weight to the spacecraft, making the journey even more challenging. It's a delicate balancing act of carrying enough supplies to sustain life without weighing down the vehicle. The journey to Venus isn't just about getting from point A to point B. It's a test of our technology, our ingenuity and our resilience. It's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible and daring to explore the unknown. It's about facing and overcoming the challenges that stand in our way. The journey to Venus, while fraught with challenges, is but the first step in this grand adventure. Surviving the journey is one thing, but what happens when we attempt to land on Venus? Venus, our neighboring planet, is no less than a celestial inferno. The atmospheric conditions on Venus are harsh and unforgiving, a stark contrast to the relatively gentle blue skies of our home. The Venusian atmosphere is made up primarily of carbon dioxide, with clouds composed of sulfuric acid, making it corrosive and incredibly hostile to human technology. As we descend into this alien world, we would face challenges not met anywhere else in our solar system. The pressure on Venus is 92 times that of Earth. Just imagine being under a kilometre deep in our oceans, and then multiply that pressure by nine. That's what we're up against. And that's not all. The surface temperature on Venus averages around 467 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than the surface of Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. The heat is so intense, it's enough to melt lead. The combination of this crushing pressure and scorching heat presents a unique technological challenge. The electronics we use are not designed to operate in such conditions. They would need to be shielded and cooled, adding weight and complexity to any landing craft. But it's not just the lander that has to survive. Any data we collect has to be transmitted back to Earth through a dense atmosphere that's ablaze with lightning storms. This requires robust and resilient communication systems capable of piercing the Venusian ionosphere. Even with all these hurdles, scientists and engineers around the globe are exploring innovative solutions to make a successful landing on Venus possible. From heat-resistant materials to advanced cooling systems, the human spirit of exploration continues to push the boundaries of the possible. Landing on Venus is no small feat, but what awaits us on the surface is even more daunting. Imagine standing on the surface of Venus. What would you see, feel and experience? On Venus, our sister planet, the conditions are harsh and unforgiving. The surface of Venus is scorching hot. Temperatures can reach up to 900 degrees Fahrenheit, hotter than the surface of Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. This intense heat is due to the thick atmosphere of Venus, which is rich in carbon dioxide, trapping the Sun's heat and creating a runaway greenhouse effect. Now imagine the pressure. It's about 92 times the pressure on Earth's surface, equivalent to the pressure one kilometer deep in Earth's oceans. This crushing pressure is relentless, enough to squash a submarine as if it were an aluminum can. The air? It's unbreathable. The atmosphere is almost entirely carbon dioxide, with clouds made of sulfuric acid. There's virtually no oxygen. The air is so dense and heavy, 
that it would feel like you're standing at the bottom of a pool, except this pool is filled with superheated carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid. But despite these seemingly insurmountable challenges, there's a potential for scientific exploration. Venus is an enigma, a world so similar in size and composition to Earth, yet so radically different in climate and conditions. Understanding Venus could help us understand the future of our own planet. To survive on Venus, we would need to engineer equipment capable of withstanding the intense heat, the crushing pressure and the corrosive atmosphere. We would need suits and habitats that are not just insulated, but actively cooled. Equipment would need to be robust, able to resist the corrosive atmosphere and the constant pressure. Venus is a world of extremes. It's a world that tests the limits of our technology and our imagination. It's a world that reminds us of the fragility of life and the uniqueness of our home planet. The surface of Venus is a hostile world, far removed from the life-sustaining conditions we enjoy on Earth. Despite the harsh conditions, what can we learn from exploring Venus? Imagine stepping into a world that is a swirling cauldron of sulfuric acid clouds and surface temperatures hot enough to melt lead. This is Venus, our inhospitable neighbor, and yet it holds an allure for scientists and space explorers alike. By studying Venus's geology, we can gain valuable insights into the planet's past. Venus's surface is relatively young, geologically speaking, with a vast majority of it less than a billion years old. It's covered in a mosaic of volcanic features, from towering volcanoes to vast lava plains, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the planet's fiery past. Additionally, Venus's atmosphere is a dense, crushing blanket of carbon dioxide, with traces of nitrogen and clouds of sulfuric acid. Studying this atmospheric chemistry could help us understand how Venus evolved from a potentially Earth-like world into the inferno it is today. But the question that perhaps most intrigues us is whether Venus might have once harboured life. While the current conditions on the planet are far too extreme for life as we know it, past conditions could have been far more hospitable. If we were to find evidence of past life on Venus, it would be a profound revelation, shaking our understanding of life's existence beyond Earth. Of course, exploring Venus is no easy task. The planet's harsh environment poses immense challenges, requiring technological innovations that push the boundaries of what we currently understand. We would need to develop new materials capable of withstanding Venus's extreme temperatures and corrosive atmosphere, as well as robotics and AI systems capable of navigating and conducting research in such a hostile environment. Despite these challenges, the rewards of exploring Venus could be extraordinary. The insights we gain could not only reshape our understanding of Venus, but also shed light on the broader questions about the evolution of planets and the potential for life elsewhere in the universe. Exploring Venus, while extraordinarily challenging, could yield insights crucial to our understanding of the universe. So what does a trip to Venus entail? Well, it's a journey unlike any other, a voyage of discovery that takes us more than 25 million miles from our home planet. It's a daring endeavor pushing the boundaries of human ingenuity and courage. First, there is the journey itself, a trek through the cold, vast expanse of space where every second counts and every decision could mean the difference between success and catastrophe. It's a test of our technological prowess, a demonstration of our ability to traverse the cosmic ocean. Once we reach our destination, the real challenge begins, landing on Venus. This is no mean feat, for Venus is a world of extreme conditions. Its dense atmosphere, high temperatures and crushing pressure make it a daunting place to set foot on. But if we succeed, the rewards are immense. The surface of Venus is a treasure trove of scientific riches. It's a window into the past, offering us a glimpse of what Earth might have been like billions of years ago. By studying Venus, we can learn more about our own planet's history and evolution. And then there's the exploration. It's here that the true spirit of adventure shines through. Roaming the Venusian landscape, braving its harsh conditions and uncovering its secrets, it's a testament to our innate curiosity, our drive to seek out the unknown. But the Venusian adventure is more than just a thrilling journey. It's a scientific odyssey that could revolutionize our understanding of the universe. It could shed light on how planets form and evolve, how life might exist in extreme environments, 
and how we as a species can survive and thrive in the cosmos. So as we stand on the cusp of this grand adventure, let us remind ourselves of the power of exploration, of the thrill of discovery, and of the potential that lies within our reach. A trip to Venus is not just a daring adventure, but a scientific odyssey that could change our perception of the cosmos.